Hi everyone, my name is Tamimi. I'm a developer advocate at Solace and I'm joined here with Mark. Hi, I'm Mark DiBasquale and I'm also a developer advocate at Solace based in Orlando, Florida. Today, we want to show you our new initiative that we launched. Uh, it's the Solace Community GitHub organization and I'm super excited to uh, show it to you uh, today. Mark, can you give us a bit of intro or background about the Solace Community GitHub org? Yeah, for sure. So at Solace, we're definitely believers in open source communities and the collaboration and the creativity that come out of them. So we wanted to embrace mm -hmm. all of this from our community and, and users of Solace technology around the globe. So we decided to create the Solace Community GitHub org. Um, as you can see on the scrolling thing across the bottom of the screen, it's at github.com slash Solace Community. And this community really offers uh, a place for community authored and contributed projects that are also supported and maintained by the community. And this community being any developer around the globe that wants to contribute, it doesn't matter what organization you work for, or even if you don't work for an organization that you're a software developer and you just you know, right. like to code as a hobby. Um, Tamimi, did you wanna talk a little bit about maybe what folks should contribute? Yeah, sure. So um, people, like we, we, we expect people to contribute to this Solace Community GitHub uh, organization, uh, projects that provide integration with Solace and other technologies or platform. Um, also, if you if you develop a tool that enables the usage of uh, Solace's APIs, like whether they're, they're wrappers or packages around the Solace API, this is uh, extremely yep. encouraged. And then uh, projects that illustrate the use of a Solace API for any like learning or teaching purposes. So Basically, it's an uh, organization, a GitHub organization that includes a, a list of uh, GitHub repositories for, for the tools that we're talking about. Yeah. Actually, mm. why don't I go ahead and like show everybody? Yeah, so that would be great. Share my screen. Let's see. Here we go. All mm -hmm. right. So um, as the uh, ticker shows at github.com slash Solace Community, this is the Solace Community GitHub org. And so right here at the top, you can see a bunch of information well, not a bunch, but useful information about it. So the first right. is a link here that goes to the contribution guide. So this contribution guide, you know, gives you all the information you need to know about the Solace Community GitHub org. It talks about what to contribute, what mm -hmm. it means to contribute um, a project to the community, the different repository roles, the existing projects, and some extra notes here. Um, Tamimi, did you want to talk about the extra notes? Yeah, quick? like we added also, we have a uh, NPM uh, organization scope uh, that people could uh, publish their NPM packages to. We also have a Docker Hub organization scope that if you have any uh, Docker image that you want to push to. So uh, the, the goal behind this is someone would go ahead and install an NPM package through NPM install at Solace Community and the name of the, organ uh, the package or pull an image from Docker. Yeah, and we'll also be adding pretty soon a some Maven Central information so you can actually publish Java projects to Maven Central so you can add them as dependencies using right. your Maven Palm or your Gradle build file. So mm -hmm. all the information you need is in this community, this Solace Community GitHub contribution guide, and this also exists in the Solace community. So if you're not familiar with the Solace community, head over to solace.community, pretty simple, and you can register here. Um, you can single sign on with your, your Twitter account or some other accounts. And this mm -hmm. has all the latest information about many things developers in the Solace community, but we've pinned the Solace Community GitHub contribution guide right to the top, so it's easy to find. All right. Um, back over to GitHub here. If you want to contribute something, shoot us an email at community-github at solace.com or let us know in the Solace community um, in the forum that we were just showing. All right, and so just quickly to show, you know, we we just launched this a few weeks back and we already have four projects that have been contributed by community mm -hmm. members. Um, the first one here is the Spring Solace Leader Election. So this allows for Spring applications to use the um, Spring Integration Leader Project and Solace exclusive queues um, under the covers to allow a cluster of applications to choose who the leader is. Right, the next and project the we other have one we have is, is the Angular one. Yeah, it's a Angular wrapper. Uh, basically, if you're building an Angular application and you want to use a, a wrapper around our SMF API, you could just go ahead and npm and install that particular uh, package. Yep. And Sol Charts here is a simple utility that basically charts statistics from a Solace Pubs Plus event broker. It connects to the broker using SEMP, which is our management REST API, and pulls stats and visualizes them for you on a chart. So it's a, a super useful tool. 
And, and then, the last one is a uh, Solus Prometheus exporter, which is a Docker image that you can uh, pull it. Basically, it uh, um, collects as well as statistics from your already existing brokers using SEMP and exposes Prometheus-friendly HTTP endpoints that you can use and query all this uh, statistics and put it in Prometheus. And then you could use whatever tools on top of it, like Grafana, for example, to visually represent yeah. the uh, stats. Yes, perfect. And then lastly, there's a template repo here. So if you have a project that you want to contribute, but maybe it's you know a little bit of a mess or not tied together, or you're just starting from scratch, you can you can use this um, as a GitHub template. And so there's this use this template button over here that you that you can use, and it, this includes things like a default code of conduct, mm -hmm. uh, a contributing guide, a default license, etc. So you can go ahead and use this. Right. Yeah, and uh, that's uh, pretty much it for our Solus Community GitHub uh, organization. And you know, I'm I'm super excited to see a lot of people contribute to this. We're actually in the process of uh, onboarding another uh, project as well you know, to yep. our Solus Community GitHub org. And you can see that this uh, is this will be successful with other community members or other people contributing their projects and tools, so that you can uh, have other people contributing to your own uh, tools and projects as well. So that's uh, that's the idea behind it. Yep. So thanks, everybody, for listening, and we look forward to seeing your contributions. Thank you. All right. Take care. Peace.